Through the ABA Rehabilitation Initiative, USAID and IOM aim to mitigate the risk of conflict and promote recovery in ABA area, a contested, oil-rich territory between Sudan and South Sudan. In May 2011, armed forces attacked Abia and displaced tens of thousands of people from the town. The attack destroyed homes and severely damaged public infrastructure. The crisis is beginning on 2008 and 2011. Everything in Abia is banned. Schools, buildings, uh, civilian buildings also, everything is destroyed, totally. In early 2013, USAID and IOM developed a program to rehabilitate Abia town, recognizing the immense needs stemming from both conflict and intercommunal tension in the area. Prior to this, reconstruction in Abia was virtually non-existent. Today, the results of the rehabilitation projects can be seen throughout the town. Um, the first phase of our project really focused on first rebuilding the community um, and for this we did a lot of infrastructural development. Um, we put in four different schools, we uh, renovated a hospital, women's center, um, meeting spaces for the community, a number of water points as well. Last August, the program transitioned and began focusing on reinvigorating the town by helping civilians build economic self-sufficiency. With the support of partners, IOM and USAID conduct vocational trainings, teach business skills and English literacy, and engage students in peacebuilding and conflict mitigation activities. And all of this is geared towards helping people to um, restart their livelihoods, reclaim their financial independence here within ABA. Um, and so far, you know, we, we've got upwards of a dozen new businesses that have started here within ABA, ranging everywhere from wholesale trading through to bakeries and food processing restaurants. It is incredible. It is new things, and it is high demand in the community. Even we have many customers used to come and buy some products and we learn how we can run our business. It is very good for us and I think for the future time we will have a very big shop. The courses place a strong emphasis on supporting women and youth. Most of these students have not received any type of formal education and many are mothers and grandmothers who walk several hours just to attend class. Economic stability in Abia is also improving as students from different courses link together their new skills. For example, students who took business classes have gone on to open wholesale companies. In turn, these companies supply ingredients to new bakeries in town. He's done a very good job for the for Abia and, and he gave some hope for the people that are the new life. Hmm? They are going to continue their, their life in Abiyah. <laughs>